Hello and welcome to the Views Club. Today I'm going to show you how to make pineapple agua fresca. If you're looking for the agua fresca that has a lot of sugar, I'm going to keep in my, be keeping mine very light on your end. Um, you want to stick around to the end for the recipe for the uh, sugar measurements um, as well as the ingredients for, for this recipe for this pineapple. I do uh, video recipes so all the information you guys need is going to be in the videos. So let me go ahead and begin. Kind of just start cutting around. I have one of those uh, nice coring uh, pineapple um, utensils <laughs> and I really, really like it. But today I'm going to show you guys how I cut it. For the next video, um, for the upcoming videos, I'll show you guys uh, how to use the pineapple one because I'm sure pineapple will be in our awas again. I love, love pineapple. The reason I love pineapple is because it demolishes mucus. Did you guys know that? You know how when you have like respiratory infection or where you have a lot of sinuses, I suffer a lot from sinuses um, and dairy tends to do that. And no matter how many times I've quit dairy, it just doesn't make a difference in my system. I am very mucusy, I guess. <laughs> So, you guys already know pineapple is a tenderizer. Um, I'll show you guys what I do to kind of help with the tenderizing so it doesn't feel like it's eating up your tongue. Because I know you guys, um, there's certain fruits that you consume and you're like, oh my goodness, like my tongue hurts. Like I can't even eat anything all day. And pineapple is going to be one of those things that you, um, that you find does that to your, to your little taste buds in your mouth. That's why they use it a lot in... Um, like barbecues or tenderizing meats because it eats it eats the flesh it helps it's like some type of component you guys will have to look it up but yeah um so whenever i feel like a cold coming on or my kids have a cold i definitely make sure to make um, them smoothies with like fresh pineapple and um some lime and you can add a little bit of honey when you're not feeling too well and that'll help you out I'm still doing that agua fresca challenge, guys. Try to drink one cup without adding sugar uh, to your agua fresca because I grew up with um, having a lot of sugar in my agua frescas or even when I go to the store and I buy one, um, especially, especially at our market, they add way too much sugar and I honestly dislike it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add uh, four cups of water. You guys can use three to four cups on your end. So let me go ahead and fill this up. Yeah, I was already starting without you guys. <laughs> So go ahead and put all your pineapple into your drink. Um, other components you can do is you can do the pineapple um, cucumber agua fresca, but you guys already know how to do that one, okay? Like you'll even notice like with your hands, once you start like touching it, you start feeling like hmm, something right. <laughs> okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use half of a lime, keep the freshness for when I keep it in the refrigerator. Um, what I've been doing, I've been noticing, like, my kids have been going through them as well as I have, like, really quick. So whatever I do have left over, I'll put them in little popsicle trays and make them their popsicles. So just add a pinch of your salt. You already know what we're doing. We're going to blend it for three to four minutes. If you have a Ninja Blender, if you have a Vitamix, maybe a minute, minute and a half max. And if you have a little bit of a less powerful blender, don't worry about it. You can still get this done use less amount of pineapple with more uh, water ratio and uh, blend it for about six to eight minutes. All right, friends, we're done blending. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just pour it in here. I know I strain a lot of one, a lot of my agua frescas, but the pineapple one, you don't wanna strain. It's kind of like pointless. You want all that pulp in there. You want those nice, fibers to come through with your body and I'm, honestly I like chewing it and this reminds me of you know what a dole whip this is a natural delicious dole whip guys we have a lot of foam <laughs> we have a lot of extra so I'm gonna have to put it in the next picture so for mine today I am gonna add a little bit of uh chia seeds it's gonna be up to you guys if you want to add chia seeds in here and it's gonna be as much as you guys would like if you're gonna be adding sugar, um, I really like this one last time I tried it. And if 
you get a hold of these sweet little drops right here make sure when you use these that one drop will make all of this super super sweet so you have to have a very delicate hand when you're using these sweet drops so it's going to be up to you whether you want to use regular sugar sugar alternatives Ooh. all right i had to get a thicker straw because i know i have a little bit of pulp going on so let's give this a taste Mmm, this is so refreshing. The challenge still on. The Agua Frescas challenge means that you at least have eight ounces without sugar. And then after you pull through with that, then you can go ahead and add a little bit of sugar, whatever you feel comfortable with. It's a challenge for a reason, right? <laughs> and who doesn't want sugar in their Agua Fresca? But right now, I'm really enjoying this. So if you guys have like the kids that love tajin, if you guys don't know how to make this, I know how to make it so I can show you guys. I just, I just really like this product. So I think all of us do add a little bit. And it gives it a little bit more of an antojito, like a Mexican snack and a Mexican flavor. And it's so, so good. I even showed you guys how to do the chamoy, that you can combine a little bit of the chamoy that I made in here. If you guys are trying to be naughty. But, woo, look at that. I love it. I'm probably going to be drinking and pouring it in. Just like that. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me and um yeah i'm pretty happy i'm really excited and i'll see you guys on the next one bye adios